Let's bring in here Laura Bezzarati, market analyst with Comsec. Laura, gold keeps on going and so therefore do gold companies as well. That's absolutely right. So we did see the gold price actually retreating in the US session last night. It was down by around 0.6%, but we have seen it pick back up in the Asian session today, up by around 0.4% to 2,360 US dollars a barrel. And that means we've seen gold stocks benefiting today. We had the likes of Northern Star, Evolution, Perseus all up in the order of 2.4%, 1% and half a percent respectively. Now, in terms of the gold subsector, we did see that hitting its highest level since around this time last year, up 0.9% today. So we have seen gold stocks certainly benefiting from those higher prices of that precious metal, Russ. It's really interesting, Laura, here, because quite clearly gold is a hedge against inflation. That's one of the reasons why it keeps on going. And, and of course, people are worried now about the very strong level of that US dollar as well. Of course, we did see the US dollar picking up to five-month highs last night. That was, of course, on the back of that stronger inflation print. It was stronger than expected. That's pushed back market expectations for a rate cut to potentially September now, and that's been impacting commodity prices, in particular gold prices, which is why they did fall last night. But that pick back up today was really driven by the tensions in the Middle East. So that's the other thing about this. Any tension around the world is going to see these pickups. So these pickups are not just due to inflation and people trying to find safe havens. But as you point out, it's also the tensions around the world, especially in the Middle East, which becomes highly sensitive. That, that's absolutely correct. And the other thing that we've been seeing on the back of these tensions in the Middle East is oil prices picking up. So if we have a look at what happened with energy stocks on the share market today, the big players, Woodside and Santos, were up. And we did see the energy sector actually performing best. We also saw the materials sector up quite substantially. They were the second best performers, performer. rather, And that was basically on the back of the gold stocks picking up today. I'll tell you what, Laura Bezzarati, good to have you on the program. Many thanks for your time today. Thanks, Russ. Actually, Laura there gives me a good hint that maybe some of this movement in Bitcoin and gold could also be to do with people looking for safe havens in very, very tough countries.